Hey, so um, I'm here this morning wanting to do what I hope I can make this time an actual, factual, real deal, <laughs> short video um, about this bad boy. Um, I have a lot that I'm supposed to be doing today. Um, I have groceries. <laughs> I have groceries waiting to get put away. Um, I said if you if you go ahead and make the groceries wait, that'll kind of guarantee that I don't take too long <laughs> to do this because I don't want my I don't want my groceries to go bad. But um, one of the main things on my agenda is this this um, and that is getting this thing edited so that I can get it in your hands uh, soon. Not today. <laughs> it won't be today, so don't look for it today. But um, but soon. Um, I got this printed out. This is the first time that I've done this, even though I've been been meaning to do this um, after a good friend of mine recommended it as as a good as a good editing tool to have it printed and bound and you know take a real like a real deal pin to it. Um, so I'm excited. <laughs> I've been a little um, mysterious or quiet, I guess, about this project because. Um, I want to, I guess, kind of maintain the integrity of it. Sounds a little dramatic and that's not, that's not quite what I mean. Um, but I want, I was careful with the samples and everything that I chose for this project. And even, even the samples that I did post, um, were heavily edited. And so they may read a little differently when you read, um, when you read the book, because I did not want to give anything away. I've not even you know only only my beta readers and like close kind of close friends even know what these characters names are that's just how unreasonably <laughs> unreasonably secretive that I've been about this project but I really want it to be like a good a good reading experience for you guys a new reading experience for you guys uh this project does I think it it, it kind of has some of the same warmish kind of vibes that that the serendipitous love series has but it is not it's, it's not set in that neighborhood <laughs> even though i'm sure that that will be i'm sure that will be a question because i actually got that question from question from my betas but it is not set in that neighborhood um this is actually intended to be a true standalone there is no you know there's not really any references to, you know, to other to characters from other projects and different things like that, because it was very much my intention for this project to 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 be self-contained. Um, if it will stay that way, I don't know. But as as of now, it's supposed to be self-contained. Um, the name of it is 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 the truth, I guess. But the long title of it is his side, her side and the truth. And um the title comes into play in a lot of different ways um, throughout the book, not just necessarily for the hero and the heroine, but it also, you know, also the hero and the heroine and some of the side characters and then just the side characters. Uh, the title comes into play. I really wanted to explore, really wanted to explore the idea, and this is something that the heroine actually says in the book, that no one, no one person is just one way. Um, I tried to, you know, and I tried to really put across, you know, that not only are these, you know, these main characters are multifaceted, but the side characters as well. And the way that the side characters, the way that they, um, the way that they influence the the hero and heroine and the way that their history and you know the stories their their histories and the stories of their past kind of play into how the hero and heroine interact with each other um I tried <laughs> I'm not sure you know I'm not sure how you know how well I did um as far as actual execution but you guys will let I'm pretty sure that you guys will let me know um how well I deal with that. And if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm sorry. I'm because I'm recording this on my cell phone. And so I'm looking at myself on the screen and my hands are so ashy. <laughs> I got up, I, re I rushed out of the house this morning to, uh, to get the kids dropped off and all of that. And that was one of the things that I neglected was, well, no, 
No, I had to help Zoe wash her hands at school, and that's the, the soap that they use. That's my hands dried out, so hi. I did not neglect my lotion this morning. I ended up washing my hands again, which is not a bad thing, but anyway, I'm off on a tangent. Um, anyway, um, this hero and heroine are really, uh, are really dear to my heart. Uh, my heroine is, you know, she, she's a, she's, she's a quirky, kind of awkward girl, um, but she's also very, very confident, very, very self-aware. Um, self-aware is something that I would use for my hero as well. It's, it's, it's a, a compliment <laughs> that I would give to the hero as well. Um, if you, if you are looking for a super alpha, alpha, <laughs> you're looking in the wrong spot with this one because, um, that is certainly not who the hero is in this one, but he's very much, um, He's he's very much a, a masculine man, but he's nobody's uh, he's nobody's alpha male. But he is very very emotionally mature, which is something that I greatly enjoyed um, about him. Uh, he has this thing that you you'll see. And I just probably used the term too many times in the book, but it's kind of a running joke between here between he and the heroine I'm still I'm trying my best not to say their names but um it's kind of a running joke between them or not a running joke but just like a running thing between them about this um this emotional honesty kick that he is on um and I I appreciate that about him because I feel like we don't see it we don't see it a lot in romance novels um and mine my own included I was talking to <laughs> I was talking to my friend um, earlier this morning about this and realized that I shaded myself when I think about um, some of my, like my past heroes thinking about specifically about the Wright brothers, um, about Jason and Reese and then uh, Joseph and Devin, how there was this, you know, I hate you, but I love you type of thing. And nobody was really, um, and neither of that that re that wasn't really the case. <laughs> like that that the hatred that they had for each other was actually attraction that they were um, that they were trying to, you know, pass off as something else. Um, and I appreciate that there there is none of that in this book. Um, they are very much I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this, but I just really wanted to explore, you know, the idea of a couple who instead of there being a whole lot of pretense and whole lot of I don't want to say that there's no running because that's not because that wouldn't be accurate but just kind of what happens when we just tell the truth <laughs> and that's kind of beside her sign the truth about falling in love um but I had a I had a good time with this project I'm glad that I'm done as always I'm always glad to be done but um but yeah, they'll they'll be available soon. Not again, not today. But I really hope that you guys enjoy these two the way that I have enjoyed them. Um, it's not my longest project, but it's a longish project. Um, it's right under eighty thousand words, which is not um, which is not typical for me. Thinking about the other twenty four, twenty four. I think this one is number twenty five. Um, thinking about the and of course the garbage truck is coming through <laughs> I hope that that's not too loud it's really loud for me I hope that it the camera doesn't pick it up but um what was I talking about length of the project um my other projects I tend to go around usually around 60,000 words sometimes less sometimes a little more but 60,000 words is usually kind of my sweet spot but they had more than that to say and I, I was not happy because um this was only supposed. This was supposed to be short. This was supposed to be short. Like this was supposed to be like fifty thousand words because I have a script that I'm supposed to be finishing. Um, that I have to as soon as I get done with this, like that's where all of my energy is going. Um, the script for Finding Forever, which I hope you know, hope to you know, hope that something comes comes of that. But that's where my energy is supposed to be right now, and because. Ooh, Hi, I was about to say their names because my hero and heroine uh, talked too much because <laughs> they had too much to say. I had to 
you know, I've kind of had to push that back some. And so all of, that's where all of my energy is going to be going once I get this edited and, you know, get it, get it all polished up, get it all shined up nicely for you guys and get this put out. But um, I've been talking for almost 10 minutes. So I think that that's probably, you know, and I haven't really said anything because I'm still trying to, <laughs> I'm still trying to maintain, um, still trying to maintain some of the the mystery i guess of this project there's there, it's not romantic suspense i hope that i hope i didn't just imply that because it's not romantic suspense at all it's absolutely contemporary romance um i would say that it's probably one of my favorite projects um it it, it didn't go the way that i first intended it to go um but it but it's here it's here <laughs> it's done i just need to get it edited um it's to me, you know, and I'm, I'm probably biased because I wrote it, but it feels very, um, very fresh and very current. Um, it's, it's, it's a mark. It's a, huh, I'm trying to say this. It's definitely different from my other projects. Um, and I don't, and that's not necessarily, you know, in a good or bad way. It just is. It's very different from my other projects. Um, they are very Sarah and heroin, they're both um, 30s, so they're not, you know, they're not like super young or anything like that, but they still, you know, they're still kind of at the beginning of their adult lives, and so they still have a long way to go. Um, they're very much uh, millennials. <laughs> there is a heavy, um, there's a heavy, there's a heavy thread of social media throughout this. If you've read some of the samples, you probably saw, you know, you probably saw some of that um, through the samples, but anyway. I'm I'm not talking about anything, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let this go. Um and go ahead and put my groceries away <laughs> before um before anything stupid happens. I need to I need to go put my groceries away. So I'm gonna let this go and I am going to be working through to get to the end and the editing of this and bye bye.